Okay, you guys, I got something really exciting I'm bringing to you in this video. We are gonna talk about how you take autophagy, all the principles of autophagy, you mix it with something called the mTOR pathway where we stimulate muscle growth. You add in some amino acids through foods and supplementations and you do some very specific exercises um, that when you combine them all together, will cause you to grow muscle quicker than ever. I'm doing this actual protocol with my patients in my office, and now I'm sharing it with you. Okay, let's, let's talk today about how the heck can you build muscle when you're fasting? And I wanna give you a very specific protocol. I actually have a seven week protocol that I'm gonna be laying out for you at the end of this video. So make sure you stay tuned through the whole process. But I wanna start off with two really key principles that you have to know. And they, the first one is autophagy. You guys know this from being here on my channel. The second one is something called mTOR. And the reason that these two principles are so important is because when you learn to balance them, autophagy will help to break down cells and mTOR is gonna help to build up muscle. And so you wanna have a really nice balance of breaking down and building up so that when you actually do build muscle, you're actually building really lean, strong muscle and you're tapping in to the miracle, the innate healing that your body already is, okay? So we have talked about autophagy a ton on this channel and on this video, I really wanna dive into mTOR and I wanna talk about how you can cycle it in between your autophagy fasts, okay? So sit tight. I wanna, I actually have written very specific notes. I always say you guys can pull out a, a sheet and take notes if you want. Now, let me back up one step and tell you that this is a protocol I've been doing with some of my patients who are extreme athletes and are noticing as they're aging that either their muscle strength is going down or their, um, uh, their muscle power is going down. And so specifically, my, the most recent amazing win we've had was with a 50-year-old Spartan racer who wanted to qualify for world championships, but kept getting injuries. And so I put him on the protocol I'm gonna share with you today. I taught him how to balance mTOR and autophagy, and he ended up qualifying for the world championships with his best time ever. So this stuff works. We're seeing it work with a lot of our athletes here in our, in our clinic. So let me break this down. Autophagy. Autophagy is where you are detoxing the cells. Okay, so you guys should know what that is. You wanna spend about 80% of your time in autophagy. If you have spent uh, the last week with us in fast training week, we just got done doing autophagy fasting. So what you've been doing with autophagy fasting is you've been cleaning house, you've been cleaning those cells. And so now when you get done doing an autophagy fasting week, now you wanna jump in and start to stimulate mTOR you should spend about 20% of your time stimulating mTOR. I'm not gonna go into what stimulates autophagy because I've done so many videos on that. I wanna jump right into what stimulates mTOR. So the mTOR pathway is that growth pathway that will build you muscle. And there are one, two, three very specific ways that you can stimulate mTOR. First way, protein load but not just any protein load. So I, I'm gonna show you how to cycle protein, when to eat protein, how much protein to eat. So sit tight, I'm gonna show you that. The second is something called resistance training. This is like you guys that are doing TRX. Um, this is sometimes, if, depending on how you're doing your kettlebells, those of you, I'm gonna show you guys in this video and I got a, a couple other exercise videos that I wanna show you how to use these BFR bands, the occlusion therapy, if you haven't been using that. This will help with muscle growth. And then the third thing that will stimulate mTOR is our amino acids. And I'm gonna to talk to you about what my favorite are and how you get them in your foods and things like that, okay? So let's start with protein load. If you wanna stimulate the mTOR pathway, you want to make sure that you're eating protein, not necessarily loading it all up in one meal. You wanna cycle your protein. So you wanna look at having 20 grams of protein 
per meal and you want to have four to five meals of protein in that on a protein load day on an mTOR load day so for those of you that are fasters you're probably not gonna you're probably going to eat breakfast so and then a couple hours later you're gonna have another meal you're gonna have four to five meals in one day and at each meal you're gonna have 20 grams of protein this is based off of science that they show that you will increase muscle growth when you divvy up your protein like that over four to five different meals, okay? Second thing that we're seeing on research, and I'm gonna put it here in, in the links, um, the research studies for you science hounds, so you guys see can go in and, and look at the, all the details of these studies. But the second thing that will increase your muscle growth is if you eat protein before you go to bed. So you want to make sure that not only are you eating 20 grams of protein throughout the day in, in four to five meals, but on right before you go to bed, you want to make sure that you're doing 40 grams of protein before bed. Okay, so now, how does that look? If you have followed me for a while, you know that when I say protein load day, I always say 150 grams of protein. What I wanna do is add on to that now and tell you that it's divvied up throughout the day and with the biggest hit at 40 grams right before bed. So if you did four meals of 20 grams of protein, you're at 80 grams of protein, and then you do another 40 right before bed, you're at 120 and 20 grams of protein. So that when I say protein load, it's a protein load day. Okay, so that's the first thing you're gonna do on this mTOR stimulating day. Okay, second thing, so resistance training. And I'm gonna, I'll do a video on this so you guys can see it. This is called a BFR band. You can get this on, um, you can get it on Amazon, you can look it up, we'll put a link in there. But it's occlusion training. So there's some really cool research that what you do, and you do it primarily for your, um, you can only really do it for your biceps, and for your legs. So what you're doing is that you're cutting off blood flow to a major muscle. So you wanna cut off as much as you, you can possibly, as tight as you can get it. You of course don't want numbness and tingling in your hands. And then you're, you start to do repetitions. What's really cool about BFR bands is that you, you don't need to do max repetitions. You're not trying to max out how much weight you can do. You actually wanna do like lightweight. So they made these specifically for people as they age. And basically what you're do, gonna do is really quick reps at about 20 at about 20 percent of your maximum ability to hold a weight. So if like a hundred percent was like a big heavy weight and you're trying to, to squeeze it, you want a just a like a 20 percent type uh, experience of weight where you're just going very quick. The research shows. 75 repetitions really fast, and you're gonna do four sets of those, and that will uh, stimulate the most muscle growth by stimulating something called growth hormone, and by shoving in, uh, they say it in the study a little better than that, by pushing in blood into the cells and forcing the mitochondria to spit out more ATP and to grow those cells bigger. So, pretty cool, BFR bands. So. You're on your mTOR building day and you're putting your protein cycling in, you're doing your BFR bands. Those of you that are TRX people, you could do your TRX and, and um, do some resistance training that way. And then the third thing you're gonna do on your mTOR muscle building day is you're gonna add in amino acids. So one of our favorite is Aventa. We'll put the link in there. This is an amino acid from Systemic Formulas. Or it, you can add in collagen. And we add, there's a couple of them. One's ECM and the other one is MB. I'll actually put the link in there for MB because it's specific for muscles. And here's what's really cool is that there is protein in this protein powder. So if some of you are like, well, I don't know how I'm going to do 20 grams of protein all day, you know, in, in four to five meals. Well, you can get your amino acids and you can look at building protein with doing powders like this. And then you would just put it with some coconut milk and, and um, add it in, okay? So that is an mTOR building, muscle building day. You wanna spend about 20% of your time throughout the week in M stimulating mTOR. 
So this could look like a couple of things. We just got done doing autophagy fasting. And depending on when you're watching this video, you could do five days of autophagy fasting. And then the next day you could do all day Saturday, you could do a protein load day and all day Sunday, you could do a protein load day. And then the, on Monday, you'd start autophagy fasting again. And then Saturday, Sunday, you would build up your, your, your pro, do your protein load days on those days. For some of the athletes that I've used, uh, or that I'm working with, I do a protein, I do a autophagy and keto for, for three to four days. And then we will throw in a protein load day before competition. And then on competition, we have a special formula we do. And then post competition, we'll do a protein load day. So we sandwich competitions with protein load days. And it's those three things that I just, I just shared with you. Okay. So I have put together, just to simplify this for you guys, I have put together a 30-day protocol of what it would look like to combine autophagy fasting with mTOR protein muscle building. How would you combine that? I put it together in a 30-day protocol. So if you're interested in that, we're calling it a muscle reset. Just put muscle reset in the comments and we will send you the link so that you can see how this would play out in a 30-day experience. Um, but those of you that are over here in uh, autophagy and you're frustrated and you're not getting any muscle growth, look at those three things I just talked about to stimulate mTOR. You got to splash in some of these mTOR days. Those of you that are worried about losing too much weight, or I'm sorry, about not losing enough weight, you got to come over here and really lean into autophagy more. And then maybe every few weeks you would stimulate an mTOR day. So we've talked about hormones on here. We talk a ton about keto. We talk a ton about weight loss. This is the secret to building muscle. This is how you go about it is that you've got to deplete and then build deplete and then build. There has to be that, that cycle to it. If you're going to add uh, muscle, but you're going to do it in a way that the body will respond best and you're going to do it where you're adding lean muscle. Okay. So as always, please let me know if that was helpful. This is something I've been doing with my patients and I'm bringing it to you guys for the first time. If you want my 30 day plan, just put muscle reset. And for those of you that are new to my channel, every January, I, do, I always introduce a new reset that combines everything that I'm teaching here. And so stay tuned because come January, I've got a reset that is gonna be focused on muscle building. It's gonna be focused on testosterone. We're gonna show you how to mix it, that in for with women who wanna know how to build estrogen and progesterone. And we take you through several different types of uh, resets and fasting and all these different days I've created here for you. So stay tuned because that'll be in January. And women, if you guys wanna unstick yourself, Join me in the Women's Reset. We're starting in a couple weeks. That reset was made specifically for weight loss. But muscle building, mTOR pathway, that's how you do it. Let me know if it helps.